cyber world in the real world? The place you want to be is downtown. The Netroots Nation Convention continues at the Austin Civic Center. And Fox Events' Rudy Koski is live downtown with how Austin is now the center of the blogger universe. Pretty interesting, Rudy. <laughs> it, it is a very interesting, interesting group of folks. The people here use the cyber world to help influence public opinion. Now, instead of standing on a street corner like this one on top of a soapbox, well, the platform of choice is a laptop or desktop computer. The hallways of the Austin Convention Center are filled with people like Deborah DeHay, passionate about politics. DeHay needed an outlet. So two years ago, she started her own blog site on the Internet. I didn't even know what a blog was. I was like, you know, I, I can actually go on there, voice my opinion. No one's going to slam me down. People listen to me. And it just started. Now DeHay is among those at the forefront of this new political cyber world. It is a firestorm, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. The Net Roots Nation Convention promotes the latest in high-tech conversation, but is also a traditional low-tech way of personal networking. It's a once-a-year opportunity to meet face-to-face, -face, share information, and rally to new causes. I believe that the system can and will work. It's a forum old-school politicians are warming up to, like featured speaker and former Alabama Governor Don Siegelman. This is a, a powerful tool for, for truth and, and, in this case, for restoring justice and holding people accountable for the abuse of power. Before all of this, newspapers and talk radio were the only mainstream outlets for opinion, but access to them, limited and controlled. Conservative viewpoints dominated print and broadcast media the way liberal opinions are currently filling up the blogosphere. The conservative right is now trying to catch this electronic wave. Blogger Dave Dayton says the learning curve may be difficult to navigate. So it's a different way that the conservatives organize versus how liberals organize. And so the idea that they can, you know, capture and learn from this, it's, it, it's contrary to, you know, kind of what their, their, the way that they traditionally organize. A top-down approach as compared to this grassroots laptop format. Now the convention will wrap up on Sunday. While the sessions are dominated with very serious topics and a lot of political heavyweights, matter of fact, Nancy Pelosi is expected to be here tomorrow, there are some fun moments. And later on in this newscast, we will meet a young woman who has gained a lot of attention by singing the praises of Barack Obama. That's right, I got an interview with the Obama girl. That's coming up later on the newscast. We'll see you then. You got to talk to Obama girl. All right, thank you.